So this is how we'll prepare a Petri dish for growing single cultures of algae. First, we'll need a agar and a liquid media that you're going to grow it in. The way we measure the concentration is one gram of agar in 100 milliliters of media is a 1% agar solution plate. And so if we're going to make a 1% solution, we have 100 milliliters of media. We add one gram of agar. We'll add the one gram of agar to the media, swirl it around to mix it really good, and put the small Erlenmeyer cap on it. Now we have to melt it, and this is done in a microwave. Okay. You'll have to watch it to make sure that it doesn't boil over. This is one method of making liquid agar. The other is to put it in the autoclave and make it sterile there. Before you pour a plate, you'll have to put the label on it so you know what's in the plate. On the bottom, around the edge, you'll write the date, the media that you've put in there, in this case, BG11. You'll write the date, the name of the media, and put your initials around the edge. And you'll do that on all the plates that you're going to pour. When the agar is melted, you'll take it out, but remember to wear the heat resistant gloves because this will be very hot. Good swirl to make sure it's mixed. Okay. When you pour the plate, you want to minimize the amount of time that is exposed to the air. So you lift the lid, pour about 20 mils in until it covers all the way across. Then we replace the lid, replace it with a little gap on the top so that the steam escapes. If you don't, the water will condense on the lid and drip back down on your plate, contaminating it. And when you pour the agar, there's going to be little bubbles on the top, and there may be microbes living on the top that we want to get rid of. So we do what is called flaming the surface. Now, most labs will use a Bunsen burner, but since this is a technology lab, we have torches. What you do is you take the top, very quickly run the flame over it, getting rid of all the bubbles. Don't melt the plastic. And put the lid back. Now we wait for this to cool. So after they've solidified, you want to put the lid on it to cover it completely and wrap them in parafilm around the edges. And you just slowly pull it to seal the plate. And when we store the plates, we store them upside down. That's so that water doesn't condense on the lid and drip back down onto the agar.
And now you can store these plates in the fridge for up to two or three weeks until you need them.